Good morning. Welcome to Casa Texpina, build day number 19. Um, the guys are continuing today to work on um, the concrete hollow blocks for the foundation walls. Um, they are manually mixing the concrete uh, because we don't still don't have uh, power on site. Um, so the uh, mixer that they the one bag mixer that they have is an electric mixer. Uh, so it runs a lot of, a lot quieter. Um, so we don't disturb the uh, neighbors as much. Um, however, like I said, the, um, we don't still don't have temporary power connected yet, so they're having to mix by hand. Um, so they're still working on that, and that'll probably take them um, the foreseeable future, um, at least for the next couple days, uh, doing the concrete hollow block foundation walls. <clears throat> so they're putting those together, um, using the concrete as both a base and mortar and fill. Uh, so they're filling in the holes so that it's reinforced concrete uh, hollow block. Stands to make it a little bit stronger. Um, it's not just plain hollow block. <clears throat> um, I think that's about the gist of what's going to be going on today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So as I mentioned, the guys are still <coughs> manually mixing the concrete. Uh, the mixer that they have on site is electric and we don't have power, so they're back to doing it by manual method. Um, mix it up, make a bucket, go take it to where it belongs and continue a bucket brigade. Um, so they're still working on the concrete hollow blocks. And they'll be working on these uh, again for the next couple, probably the next couple days. Um, they have to get these up to um, just below grade level. Uh, so we're going to have oh, finished floor level is what I mean by grade level. Um, <clears throat> they'll do concrete hollow block um, up to 80 centimeters from the edge of the sidewalk. Um, once they do that, then they'll put in a uh, grade beam, which is more rebar, it'll look kind of similar to the uh, to the column beams that you have here, except for laid on its side and square as opposed to rectangle. Um, in those grade beams will also be dowels going out into the uh, floor slabs so that all of it will be connected. Uh, but we'll probably get to the grade beams hopefully by the end of the week. It's the way they work in these foundation walls. They put in um, mortar mix on the base that they poured yesterday. And they'll lower the hollow block over the upright rebars as they come in and place it down into the mix using it more like mortar like you're doing uh, bricks on the side of your house except these are going to be on the foundation wall <clears throat> make sure it's in line and then they'll come back later and fill in the holes with uh, more of the same mix or a little bit stronger they've actually got another batch of uh, hand mixed concrete uh, that they're using to fill the holes with Like I said, they're going to come back in, fill in the holes, then they'll add another layer of, then they'll add another layer of uh, mud over the top, mud, otherwise concrete, uh, a little bit lesser uh, grade, more of a mortar mix um, that'll go over the top, and that'll be the cushion between this course of bricks and the course of blocks going above it. This gentleman's working on the what I was telling you earlier uh, with the second course of blocks going on top. They've laid another layer of mortar in between and then they put the block on top, squish it down into place, make sure it's at the right elevation uh, with the string line that they've used to mark it. They'll slide it over the, the rebar where it needs to be.
put it in place once they're all in place there's another gentleman coming in behind him that's filling in the holes with uh, additional concrete and mortar and we'll build our way up uh, to the sixth no, sorry four courses of uh, concrete hollow block uh, before we get to the grade beam all right so as they're working their way up they're three courses up they've placed a piece of rebar to tie into the columns notice here on the edges it goes through the column has a loop down so that it doesn't pull out uh, in the event of an earthquake so this will this is like a this is a tie rod to tie the wall into the into the columns as they go up they're also using these as the, at the joints so as they get up to the third row third column they're they're putting in the uh, tie rods looking good so the guys from Pelco showed up today um, they're gonna take a look at connecting the temporary power so that we've got power on site uh, now's a convenient time frame to do it because they've also got this section of Mabalaka um, without power from 8 to 5 today uh, for a, connect a larger connection in another location so we're utilizing they're utilizing this time frame to uh, get this put together for us uh, so so the guys are starting to go up to check the, the wire they got the wire over here in the back of their car uh, the box for the meter also there so they're going to put the connection on the back corner of our lot this will be a temporary connection um, with the meter running there I believe the uh, the new meters are uh, digital digital readout Temporary connections made. Digital meter at the top. It was a digital meter upon further inspection. Um, they kind of hot tapped into the, um, see if you can see it from this side. No, not, not really. Uh, they did a hot tap into the wires on the top. Uh, brought it down to the meter. The meter wired into the switch box. Um, the, the disconnect switch here. Um, the my, uh, our engineer's electrician will take it the rest of the way uh, from the switch box to uh, their bunkhouse as well as to the uh, Baha'i Kubo uh, to give us a little bit of power here as well. Got Mr. Orley here, our steel man, who is working the fabricating the grade beams. This is the first grade beam to go in. So we've got connections. <laughs> go all the way through and the splice right here where mr. Alex is at notice the splices are on top being a gray beam you don't want any splices on the bottom because it's supporting a load coming from the top down the splice should be on the top so that it puts the extra pressure going through the concrete If they're going to be working on that. So evenly spacing out the uh, stirrups. Looks good. So this afternoon the guys are continuing to work the uh, concrete hollow block foundation walls. And you see here on the top, on the top we've got the uh, grade beam. Connected into the columns, wire tied through. Just 
still wire tying it tight. Make sure it's good. Still erecting concrete hollow block for the other walls. So they're doing section by section. Let's we'll see where else I showed you earlier was part of the uh, mother-in-law's quarter. Let's call it that, mother-in-law's quarter. And that side of the garage, on this side of the garage, they've continued. And this is going all the way up to the front of the house. So this is along the uh, bedroom number two. Uh, it's walk-in closet. Um, there are still spaces left out where they're going to connect the other walls. See here the, the space down here at the bottom. Another space here. This is where the CHB is going to uh, connect in when they do this portion of the uh, foundation wall. This is the back side of the garage. Utility room. Almost completed with the um, hollow block foundation wall. Next step on it will be the uh, grade beam uh, that they're still working on. They're working their way around. So as the uh, steel man gets grade beams and stirrups ready to go, they're bringing them over and putting them in place. And then they're continuing on with the next section of hollow block for another section of the foundation wall. All right, foundation wall on the back side of the master's bedroom. It's up to <clears throat> up to level. I um, believe they will be going next to put the uh, grade beam in place for it. And the guys are continuing to work around the side. Good walk through. Walk through the bathroom into the closet. Oh, look at that. I can peek through the closet right now. So they're putting it down. That's going to be the front side of the house by the office. So the electrician has showed up um, from the engineer's side of the house. Um, they're just stretching out wires at the moment, but they're going to connect a temporary pole as well as make a connection over to the bunkhouse to get them power. The uh, pole in the center, uh, they're using that <clears throat> to hook up the one bag mixer and that's probably going to be most of its location uh, at least until they put the floor and the floor slabs in and it's an electric uh, motor on it so like I said before it'll be nice and quiet so the neighbors don't uh, complain too much the only thing that's going to make a lot of noise on it is going to be the rocks going around on the inside of the tub Mr. Orland our main steel man over here working the uh, rebar for the Grade beams. Yeah, that's what those are, grade beams. <laughs> Sorry, I got brain, brain cramps now and then. Just get so impressed watching the guys work. These guys work pretty fast. So this is most of the, uh, this section over here is gonna be the mother-in-law quarter, uh, a, a bathroom in the middle, and the utility room where the guys are here with making the uh, making concrete is going to be the garage and as the rest of it starts to come together I'll, I'll show you some more
So the engineer was nice and brought me a laminated um, floor plan so we can see what that's going to look like with measurements as well as the foundation plan on the back side uh, while they're still working on that. Outstanding. Thank you. So here it is end of the day and we've got a uh, delivery of the remainder of the cement. 70 bags of cement. I'm going to go straight into the storage room and start using those fairly quickly. So they're going to unload these and throw them inside the little storage area. We're starting to stack up our tools. That's a wrap. Well, that's a wrap on Casa Texpina, build day number 19. Um, so they had a lot accomplished today. We got the uh, some foundation walls up to grade beam level. Had some of the grade beams uh, made, fabricated on site. Um, also had Pelco visit us today and give us temporary power. So the guys have power in the bunkhouse. They'll start having people uh, stay on site to uh, watch over the goods as well as they now have power for the uh, one bag mixer, uh, which is electric. Uh, so they're not gonna be, they shouldn't be mixing the uh, concrete on the floor anymore. They'll be uh, mixing it in, in the one bag mixer and then dump it and take it still bucket to bucket um, from place to place. Well, it's been a great day. Uh, I've had a lot of stuff accomplished today. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.